Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In today's video we are playing a complete randomizer build. How that works is we play with Omnipotent and Gambler with unconventional start which means that we do not pick a single one of our skills. All six of our skills are going to be completely random which is really good and really bad. We could get some amazing skills or we could get some real trash and struggle to kill anything. Now, with including this, to make it even more random, we are going to be playing with Overwhelming Chaos, which increases the damage of all our skills from a range of 1 to 220% of the original damage, or, uh, sorry, and Oscillating Power, which increases damage by a varying amount between 30% increase to negative 10% over time. So that means like every second it goes up and down. Once it hits 30%, it moves down to negative 10 and back and forth like that. Next, we got Quality Standard so that we have at least uh, uncommon and up uh, upgrades and then a synergetic just in case we get some really juicy stuff now we are playing with this first weapon her weapon sorry uh, we do have it at level 20 for the increased damage area and xp and hopefully that comes in very handy and we are going to be doing this on the dungeon of despair at max danger level with max curse uh, we've done this once or twice. We did actually manage to get a run with seven minutes, but that was just a completely insane run. I doubt we're going to get something like that again. Actually, that was without uh, unconventional start, and we were using the brittle arcane missile. So that was kind of like a cheat, I guess. We're not going to be using that one again just because I felt like the arcane missile was way too strong. So what could we do to make it a little bit uh, less strong? So we used unconventional start and that way we don't have uh, access to any of the starting skills or any skill that I otherwise might be like, hey, maybe we can cheese this and use this skill. So nope, we use unconventional start and that way we started off with the summon battle mooses. So at least we've got some survivability over here because of the taunt and the stun. And then we've got chaotic, which is pretty interesting to run in a build all the time anyway. And let's see what our other skills might land up being. Hopefully we get some really good ones over here. We could grab even more XP, but we're actually not going to need it. We've got ourselves a Viscerate, so that's actually pretty good. And then we gain Form and Haste from it. And Ambush causes damage based on the number of stacks of bleed on a target. It's okay, we're not really worried too much about it, the bleed stacking. But maybe it's going to be one of the only ways that we do really well over here. So maybe we might have to look at getting into a little bit more bleed for the build we do get easy mechanical spiders as well so that actually does mean if we get bleed then that's ooh, even noxious shot okay so this is this looks like a really good run we're getting some really decent uh, skills over here easy mechanical spiders we got battle mooses noxious shots okay it just gives us aptitude and poison poison's really good for the damage to kill everything around us uh, but the rest of it, if we can manage to get like a bleed damage, so uh, all attacks deal bleed damage, maybe hopefully because of Eviscerate, then I think we'll be in a really good spot there as well with damage because then it can do a lot more for itself. We also get RC Veins from Frozen Blade. There's Poison. We'll just grab it because why not? We get a damage nature increase because a Noxious Shot is nature along with the Battle Moose. I don't know why I decided to say that in a little bit of a French accent. Alright, we can actually go for uh, cast frequency there. <laughs> Everyone thought I was going to get this low. Gotta always keep you guessing. As you can see, this is taking forever just to kill the first set of bosses. This is what we are going to see throughout the run. Luckily, uh, we, like we explained in a previous video, we don't really have to worry about killing the bosses quickly. It doesn't affect anything to do with their HP anymore, thanks to the update that came with the new beginning. Alright, let's go kill that pylon. Not that we're actually really too worried about it, but it exists, so therefore it shall not exist. Inc reduce the amount of mana we could go doom Ah, you know what we're just gonna stack that oh my goodness what is that 
a legendary plus two with a legendary damage after it. I could not ask for anything better. We get a plus one to the moose as well. We could go for a little bit of area of effect over here. We're going to grab both of these because I want to increase the frequency for the multicast chance. And then we're going to grab some lethality over there. Multicast damage on Eviscerate. And we're still waiting for the bleed. Unfortunately, I mean, it says it applies bleed. So why are we not getting... Now yeah, causing damage and applying bleed so we should be able to get bleed on hit because of that so we've just been unlucky we're getting doom on hit because we went poison to doom we already saw doom but no the game doesn't want to give me bleed because it knows it knows if we get bleed that we're going to be too strong however just to make it even worse with regards to randomizing let's go and grab ourselves some disarray what else could we want with oscillating power more than the disarray the ultimate random damage build that's what this shall be called and you guys you need to join the discord and post your images or screenshots of what your run looked like when you did this what skills did you get did you manage to do it on max curse max difficulty how did you find it was yours completely busted mine looks like it's doing a lot better now for some reason adding the mechanical easy spot well not adding them getting some really good skills over here made for a big difference for us and that's going to help us oh oh my goodness what are these upgrades that we get i don't know guys i've been extremely lucky today with this again still not even receiving the bleed there but it's not like we're worried about whether or not eviscerate's actually going to be doing a lot of damage or not we are focusing on everything else but it because we're not getting the bleed but yeah like i said let's see what you guys can do join the discord if you're not there post some of your images you can put some imgar links in here if you want uh, my youtube does have filters though so usually if you link something it is going to like ban your comments and i have to review them and sometimes it takes a couple of days and whatever the case may be just because that's how youtube works so you know it's better if you just join the discord and then you are able to post images there uh, under any of the sections gaming general whatever the case may be and you will be able to you know show me that you played the build and you really enjoyed playing it and you were able to get x skills and y skills and do it in x time and y time that would be really interesting to see just jump into the corner there Prophetess is going to die very soon. There we go. Third set of bosses are down. We still have both lives. We've got a lot of... Uh, what's the wording I'm looking for? Skill points to use right now. So let's go and do that. Uh, let's go for more slow we do have the slow to disarray we're going to go with movement speed crit chance and then just damage for everything you know why not we're not really worried about too much slow stacking because we do have all hits applied disarray now and you only need one or two copies of slow to get the max cap of slow the max cap was what was it i think 60 percent or 40 percent or something around there so being able to get there very quickly is very easy especially for you know slow stacking when you're playing with slow you just want the ice vortex or the frozen warhammer those are the skills that you would then stack as much slow as possible because they deal damage based on the number of stacks on the enemy okay we've got a pylon over here that needs to die because it's just more stuff we need to you know dodge which we don't want to do and if we can get our ascension up just before the bosses spawn like we did there it does give us more movement speed even more easy mechanical spiders being summoned that is fantastic and that's going to obviously assist us in killing the bosses a lot faster 
If we played any other character, it would be probably stronger. We could play Barbarian, Assassin, uh, even Paladin would be really, really strong. Any of those characters that have damaging, uh, you know, inc uh, high increasing damage when you use their Ascension. Uh, the, I mean, you do get damage when you're playing with the Arcane Weaver, but like plus 20% damage if you are able to, you know, increase that with a different uh, ascension a different character obviously it does make the run a lot easier so something like assassin would probably be the best one because then if you do get random skills that require backstab like twin daggers eviscerate backstab sinister strike all of those ones you will be in the best possible space because you're going to have his ascension to work with it so in terms of a randomizer if you don't want to have to worry about specific skills assassin is the best character to use but if you just want to have fun and you want to mess around with character ascensions and just a random skills and how they work with ascensions then your best bet is to just play whoever you want to play okay we are on oh man we went i mean it's not a terrible time so I know a lot of people when they're playing on hard danger level, they even struggle to to complete it in under 10 minutes. And here we are at a nearly nearly under eight minute run. Oops, we might lose the second laugh though, which is a bit unfortunate. But we'll see how that goes. Yep, we did. That's unfortunate. So now we do have to be that little bit more careful. Ooh, we nearly got hit by the laser beam over there. Our well, moose are not doing their job in distracting these enemies. Two bosses are down. Two to go. One more is down. Oh, I thought that was the prophetess that we killed, but it wasn't. I can't, like, I don't have time to look at the names. But there we go, 8 minutes and 37 seconds, which is a pretty decent time. It's not the greatest, but it's not the worst, especially for a true randomizer like this. Let's see what skill did the most damage. Uh, let's go and have a look at it. Ah, I'm going to bet easy mechanical spiders. Whoop, there we go. And noxious shot, not far behind with battle moose. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember... Keep safe, survivors. Until next time, cheers.